Okay, well, we're going to adjust the pressure on the press. And it's very important that you don't force the press in any way. Um, we like to use this kind of bar to increase the pressure. Um, it helps with the leverage when turning the, the press. Um, you want to make sure there's nothing on the bed of the press or the felts are not folded. And we're going to adjust the press at 4 at 15. And so making sure that both micrometers are the same, we would count 1, 2, 3, 4 at 15. And we'll go back over to the other side. Here we have the pressure being this line lining up with the numbers of this line. So if I go an entire full turn, I'm really going to increase the pressure quite a bit. So here, if I go back to 4 at 15, we'll have the pressure like this. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 at 15. So these are the smaller increments. And if you wanted to increase the pressure, you could increase it three notches or lighten it three notches. Usually that's just for light adjustments. But if you really needed to change your, your bed of your press and, and have different heights, then you would increase the pressure um, by a full turn. So it's very important that this micrometer is the same as that one. And here would be double checking. One, two, three, four at 15. So we just ignore this zero here. Okay, so we've decided that our monotype with the two pieces of plexiglass is going to be 4 at 15. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write that on the bed of the press here. And I'm going to go 4 at 15, and I'll go monotype. And the good thing about that is that this will tell us exactly where the pressure is going to be. And we'll have two felts and the two pieces of plexiglass. And you can see that here on the bed of the press, I have other personal notes from other times of printing. And that's very handy because when I want to do something else, like print on a piece of aluminum or print on a piece of copper, I have some different notes from different artists that have worked here. And so that I can refer back. And also, I will refer back to the types of felt. So sometimes I use a thicker felt or a thinner felt, just depending on what type of um, printing I'm going to do. So that's kind of fun to write on the plexiglass and remember things and at the same time um, have a reference for different types of printing methods. As long as the felts are the same and the plexiglasses are the same, then um, and your, your um, matrixes are the same, then all the pressure will be in relation to that.